Good morning, guys, and Happy New Year. So it is uh, January 15th. I think today's the 15th. <coughs> it is a Monday morning. Um, I'm not working today, so I am here working on the Ohana. Um, I am basically continuing where I left off in the last video. Um, loud vehicle driving by. Uh, so I am continuing where I was in the last video. I think I did a little bit of work since then. Um, I don't remember exactly where I left that off at, but I will, like I said, just continue. I'll show you what I'm working on. Um, as of right now, the loft I think is completely wired. Um, as far as the bathroom, the outlets, I still need to add um, some of the boxes for a couple of the lights, which I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, now I'm going to focus on getting the kitchen wired up, uh, the downstairs bathroom wired up, and get all of this completed uh, and start working on the breaker box. So, yeah, still a lot to do. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to put all this electrical in one video, but there's just so much. Even, even though I'm not really showing like the actual work work being done and just showing like things as I get them done, it's still a lot. So <sighs> thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in and uh, let's get to work. All right. So after another trip to Home Depot, I got more electrical stuff. This is, I believe, everything I'm going to need to finish it off. Um, I also picked up some vents. Uh, these are going to be for the bathrooms. Um, it's a vent and a light. Uh, I picked up some Halo can lights. I guess they're not really can lights, but I guess the new version of can lights. Um, and those are going to be for the kitchen. So uh, in the rafters here, you can see where I have marks where those are going to go. And it's a four pack, so I'll probably end up adding another one maybe on this beam here. Um, and then, of course, there's going to be some pendant lights here above the breakfast bar. Um, also, I picked up toilets. Um, I'm not anywhere close to starting the plumbing yet, but I was given a Costco gift card and uh, it was enough to buy two toilets. So that's going to be for the upstairs and downstairs bathrooms. Once we get to that, that should be in hopefully the next video. Wow. ATV driving by again. So let's go up and check this out. So things that are left up here, uh, I have a box there, so I need to add a switch box here. That's gonna be for the stair light. So it's gonna be a three-way switch. There's gonna be a switch down there, switch up here. So you can turn it on whether you're at the top or bottom of the stairs. Um, everything in here is cleaned up and all the terminations are done. I don't know if I had that finished in the last video or not. Switch is mounted. So uh, initially I was going to just do sconce lights on either side of the bed here, which is what these cans are for. Um, but I'm going to go and add two lights up there as well. So it's basically going to be two switches. One will do the lights by the bed, one will do the lights on the far wall. Uh, and then over here, I'm gonna add the same thing up here. There's gonna be a light in the closet. There's a switch here for that. Uh, and I will be, there's gonna be a close out here that's gonna come across uh, framing. So that should be the absolute last bit of framing that I have to do. I don't think I had this door fully framed in yet in the last video. Um, so that's going to be done. I still have to add some two by four pieces on the bottom on either side, which I have to do as well on this side over here so that there's something to screw the drywall into once I start doing drywall. Uh, I added an outlet up here because we're going to have a fan, a wall mounted fan 
in here. Initially, I wanted to put a ceiling fan in here, but because of the height, this is, if I got a really short ceiling fan um, and mounted it to this beam, it would have been, I don't know, probably right at six foot level, which is just too low. So um, my wife and I were talking about it and we decided not to go with a ceiling fan in here. So instead, uh, there's this wall mounted unit that I'm gonna get. Um, so there's an outlet up here for that. It basically has a, a chain you pull, it's wall mounted, it's adjustable, and then that'll be for a fan up here in case it's hot. In the bathroom, everything up here is wired. Uh, home run coming into here, this will be the outlet with a GFI. Light switch over here, so this is for the light above the vanity. And then also for the fan, so there's gonna be a fan here. The fan will be mounted in the wall in this one, not in the ceiling, because I can't really mount it in the ceiling because of the way that this is with the tongue and groove. There's no space. You know, normal drop ceiling where you have trusses and you have drywall, then you have space in there, you can put a fan in, but I can't really do that in this one. So the fan I got is a thin uh, fan. It fits within a two by four wall. It's intended to be wall mounted. So it'll be in this pocket here. It does have a night light on it, which will be helpful as well. And then the venting will probably just go like right out the wall here. So there will be a vent on the outside. So I got, that's one of the fans that I got down there. After that though, I believe the entire upstairs is gonna be wired and done. Um, one additional thing I'm going to be adding over here is I will be adding a outlet, exterior outlet box in here. That's going to have to wait until I actually start doing the roof outside. But essentially what I want that to be for is it's going to be attached to a switch down there in the main switch box. So that we'll have um, lighting, you know, the like those outdoor bulbs, the string bulbs, you know, like what everyone does. So there will be a switch to basically turn those on outside, but I wanna have an outlet up here that will be facing outside that the lights will plug into and then you flip the switch and turn it on. Rather than having to run wires along the wall or whatnot. Um, the only other thing that I have is I do need to run wires for smoke detectors. So there'll end up being a smoke detector in here, probably like right here. So it's on this side, on the living room. There will be one in the kitchen, and there will probably be one up here, just outside the, the uh, loft bedroom. Um, I think that's pretty much all the areas. I don't know if I need to put one all the way up there or not. I'll have to see. I don't know like what the code is on that. So uh, Anyway, I'm going to get to work on uh, installing some of this new stuff that I got, and uh, I will give you guys an update when I get it done. All right, so I put a new plug on these. So these lights came with a plug that had a an inline switch on there. So I basically cut that off, I put a new plug on. Um, and then when I get ready to do drywall, I'm gonna change out this plug for one of these. So that is actually, the plug is, the outlet is recessed. So this will actually be further in. Um, because this will end up having a closeout piece that's going to come up here so you don't see the light directly. So I changed those out on both sides. Uh, that side over there as well. Up here, got a bit more work done. Got this outlet mounted, the outlet box. Haven't done anything yet. I got all of these boxes installed and all of the wires prepped. I got this piece for the closet closeout done. And then this one for the closet light mounted and prepped. I got the bathroom fan installed. So for this one, I ended up having to pull a second wire through. And then I'm gonna be changing out this switch to a three switch. Um, so the fan, there's the fan, there's a light, and there's a night light. So basically the way that I wired it, 
One switch will turn on the fan and the main light, and then another switch will turn on the night light. So there will actually be a night light in here if they want it. So um, had to run, you know, a second wire, like I said, through, got all that wired up, buttoned up. Uh, now I just need to get some um, venting, some ducting uh, for this. And it's basically going to run down as far as it needs to and then 90 out the wall. So I got to go see what kind of components they have to see how I'm going to do that. So that'll be later. So um, the loft now is completely done other than, you know, terminating some outlets. Um, that's just the GFI, GFCI, which I got those now for the bathrooms and the kitchen. Um, and then all of the light fixture ones, they will not get done until after the drywall is done and then the light gets mounted and everything. Uh, yeah, so that's all done up here. And I started on the kitchen. So I got the boxes put up for the pendant lights, which will go there. Um, basically, they're just spaced 16 inches apart. This is going to be a four foot or four, four and a half foot, uh, like a breakfast bar. Uh, live edge, mango most likely. I gotta see what they have. Um, then I got these mounted, which I'm getting ready to wire these right now. So these are the little control boxes for the um, can lights, the canless can lights. <laughs> um, so essentially these have a control box in there. You can change the um, temperature frequency. So they're warm, um, daylight, I think there's like three or four different settings on there. So depending on what kind of light you want to have. Um, and then the other two are here. So I did end up mounting all four just so the kitchen will be bright. Um, so right now I'm getting ready to run. The kitchen light switch is going to be here. It's going to end up being a three-way switch. So there will be a switch there. And then, of course, there's a switch over there on the main uh, switch panel. So right now I'm going to be running some wires up basically to the first one, then it's going to split off. So they're all essentially going to be wired together. There's not going to be two and two or anything like that. You hit the switch and all four of them are going to come on. And then the pendant lights will have their own switch right there. So let me get back to work. All right, so starting to uh, get the wires run for these. Um, over to here. So this one's terminated. It's ready to go. There's basically a little screw on plug so you put the two pieces together and then there's a back shell that screws on to hold it together, um, you know, to the lights over there. And then these are essentially just daisy chained together, just like you do with outlets. Um, and when you look on the inside of these, there's just a white, a black, and a ground, you know, just like if you're just running wires, like I said, through an outlet or the regular lights. And then up here is where that little switch is where you can switch between the different uh, color frequencies. So let me uh, continue with this and get these finished up. All right, so a few days have passed. I'm back out here in the Ohana working, um, just continuing with wiring, of course. Um, I'm starting to do the home runs for the bathroom and the kitchen. Um, I did get the, Uh, I got the outlet installed up there and all of that connected in the upstairs bathroom. Um, basically, that's the home run that comes up to there to the GFCI outlet. GFI, GFCI, I think it is. I don't know. Um, so that's all wired. Now, the only thing remaining in the loft is to get the three-way switches put in for the stair lights. Uh, I'm going to need to go get some different wire for that because you need to have... Uh, basically a four wire instead of a three wire. Um, or this wire is considered, what I'm running now is 12-2 or 14-2. So 14 is the gauge size of the wire. 12 is bigger, even though the number's smaller. Two stands for the two conductors, and then there's always a ground. So I basically need to get some 14-3 to do the uh, three-way switches. 
which I will also need for the kitchen because the kitchen is also going to have a switch here. So that is also a three way. Um, so, and then I will need that uh, 14 three wire as well when I do the smoke detectors because it has to have a traveler as well. Um, the fourth wire or the third wire, not counting the ground, is a red wire generally, and that's called a traveler. So if you have anything where it needs to have a continuous signal to it, three-way switch, smoke detectors, whatever, then you use that red wire as the traveler. Um, so you can see I have some home runs coming through here. I got this one ran up for the bathroom in here. That will travel over to the switch panel here, which is this double. So one switch for the vanity light, one for the fan and light. Um, some continuing across here, Draw one drops down there. Um, so in the kitchen, I'm gonna have two GFI outlets, GFIC, um, and then from those, they will daisy chain off to the others. So you can run up to three outlets off of one GFIC, which is, I don't know if I have my acronyms right, but it's one of these that has the reset test and reset buttons on them and these ones are basically protected so if something shorts or generally used in wet areas kitchens bathrooms etc et um, so it'll trip the breaker here instead of going all the way back so basically once this is installed here then there will be this outlet and the fridge outlet and then also the light switch that will run off of this um, and then the other one over here is going to run this outlet here and this outlet there. So that way it's broken up. It's basically two sections going into the kitchen. So I'm gonna continue on with this. Um, yeah, those are all done too. <laughs> I think I showed that before though. So let me uh, continue getting this stuff wired in and uh, I'm getting very close to having the majority of the wiring done in here. Um, and as you can see, the breaker panel box is getting a bunch more wires coming into it now. And then everything is just labeled and will be ready to get terminated. So, yeah, let me get back to work. All right, so another week has passed. I'm out here working on the Ohana again. Um, I got the um, four wire. Well... It's 14.3, so three wires and a ground, essentially four wires. That's what I need to do my um, three-way switches. Picked up some more uh, standard 14.2 wire to continue on. Um, pulled the switch panel apart again so that I could wire up my kitchen light, which is a three-way. So this is a double switch, so half of it is a three-way switch, half of it is a regular switch. And basically what happens is... Um, this four wire has a white, black, and a red. The red is like the traveler. So uh, that's what gets connected on here so that no matter if you hit this switch or the other switch, it still turns on. Um, same thing has to happen for the smoke detectors. So you can see I have the wire run through here, uh, over to here. I'm just going through starting to do some of these terminations now. Uh, the kitchen lights, they're all fully wired up now down to there um, i'm getting ready to wire that switch in again i was out of wire so i have it now and i've been working over here on the bathroom pendant lights are all wired switch uh, the outlet with the usb ports so this is where the breakfast bar will be so switch for the pendant lights outlet so you can plug in phone tablet whatever regular outlets uh, over here um, that will be the GFI outlet in the bathroom, vanity. All that's wired now, run over here. And I've been working on this. So this is going to be the switch for the fan. So there's uh, the fan, night light, and the regular light. <laughs> These fans are way more complicated than old fans. Uh, and then this switch will just be for the light over the vanity. All that's wired up. And this fan is wired in now. And I also went and I got some of the external ducts uh, for the fans. So this one and the, 
the one in the upstairs bathroom. There will be an additional duct that runs through here. So the fan is in this bay, and then there will be a duct that runs through this bay as well. So there will be two outlets here, and that one's going to be for over the stove. There will be a vent hood or probably will end up being a microwave with a fan vent just so that we have a microwave in here because that will probably be the most used item. So yeah, just continuing on with the wiring. Um, and I got the three-way switch for the upstairs bathroom so I can get that stuff uh, finished up and then also get the three-way switches for the stair lights done. So let me get back to work and uh, I'll be back with an update. Okay, so uh, three position switch, three switch, switch, I don't know. <laughs> it's installed in the uh, loft bathroom. The fan, I'm pretty sure I showed that earlier. Um, I have some of the ducting for that too, so that's gonna get done before long. All the wiring up here is now complete, complete, complete. Um, I got my three-way switches in. So see, there's a, I put my, the old outdoor light <laughs> um, up there just temporarily so that there's a light in here. And then coming down the stairs, that's this one here, so see the light come on um, all the wiring is done now in the kitchen all the outlets are wired fridge outlet oh yeah check this out hey see that kitchen lights so that's those four halo lights and then of course three-way switch here as well so that works. All the GFIs are run. Um, I'm pretty. I think I'm done completely now with all of the electrical, um, minus a couple things. And I think I will end up having to add an outlet up here because the stove will be here, and I think we're going to put a microwave with a vent in here. Um, it was going to be just a hood, but then I was thinking we need to have a microwave in here, so. Or probably end up being a microwave with the vent and then the vent will go through there and go out the wall over there so i think i talked about that earlier side by side with the bathroom vent so all of this is complete now uh, the only other thing that is not done is i have some wire coiled up here so there are two light switches that go to the lanai. Uh, basically, there's the light that's right outside the door here. And then there's going to be, I don't know where it'll be yet because I have to build the roof and everything of the lanai. But I'm going to put an outlet up there under the roof so that I can plug in lights out there. Uh, I think I mentioned that before. It's probably going to be like those string lights, you know, where the bulbs hang type setup but I want the plug to be up there so it's out of the way you don't see it and uh, I think that's it um, of course I still got to do all of this so yeah let me uh, turn this around all right so I know I'm not totally done with the electrical but I'm pretty much done um, Trying to get to a spot where, there. Now you can actually see my face. Okay, so the electrical is done for the most part, electrical rough in. Um, generally, none of the outlets or anything would be installed like that. I'm doing that just because I'm using them kind of in the meantime. So usually all the wires, the electrical rough in, air quotes, is running all the wires to the boxes whether it's a switch, outlet, whatever. Uh, and then the wires just get coiled up, stuffed in the box, and then drywall goes up. Um, so I'm kind of doing it backwards, but this way it gives me a chance to add other stuff if I need to add other stuff, fix stuff if it doesn't work. Um, so when I do get ready to do, to do drywall, 
I'm gonna have to pull all those outlets off and push them into the box so that I can put the drywall up, cut out the hole, and then I'll pull the outlets out and remount them. A little bit more work, I guess, but that's the way that I'm doing it. So, um, yeah. Uh, the next big thing is gonna be pulling wire from the house. So eventually this Ohana is going to be on solar, have its own solar system. That's just not something that I can get right now because that's gonna be like, I don't know, six or $7,000. Um, so in the meantime, uh, it's gonna be wired from the house. Um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to start getting that stuff next week. Um, but the wire alone, to run from the house down to here is like $700 for the roll for 125 feet of uh, six gauge wire. So that'll be next. Um, the next video, I don't know if I'm gonna show that and then maybe doing the, terminating the breaker panel, um, something like that, I don't know. I might just do it and then just show it in the next video because it's, Kind of boring um, and if you really want to see like a breaker panel get wired you can go back to my shop videos where I'm doing the electrical and I think I show in there a, you know I show like wiring the breaker panel um, yeah so I think that's it I'm kind of rambling now so I think I'm gonna just wrap this video up and uh, I guess, Happy New Year to everyone, again. <laughs> um, and I will work on getting an, another video out as soon as I can. I know some people are eagerly awaiting, like three people are eagerly awaiting. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I just wanna say thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Mahalo's guy, guys, guys, I'm tired, man. Yeah, long day. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. As always, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you on the next video. Aloha.